Hello everyone, welcome to GAN's ASP.NET Sub Tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to log in with the email OTP with SQL Server in ASP.NET C Sharp. This video is also related to the previous videos, video 1 login registration activate and account page and another video is forget password and reset password page. So in this video, we will just create the login page with OTP, how to login with the OTP page. So, first. Uh, here part one we already did for the creating the website and second part we already uh, know how to create the uh, page login with OTP and confirm login with OTP page so go to the visual studio so let me uh, create a page for the creating a page right click on your site name go to the add add new item creating one page that page name is login with OTP and one more page I'm going to create confirm login so login with OTP will send a OTP to user on his email address for that uh, we'll create just let me open the page so this is login with OTP page I will just uh, write down the email address here and submit so if we get it it will send an email to the user go to that and for that I want the on click function on click equal to so OTP so this is my CS page. Dot CS page. Here, here we will write the backend code for the connecting of the database, sending a mail to the user, OTP to the user, like that. So for that we need uh, some assembly. Again, I am saying that refer to the previous video code, adding the assembly and other other things. This is a connection. So this connection name is coming from the web.config. Web.config connection name should be equal to this connection. So we are calling the connection. One click login button will send a mail to the user. Send a OTP to the user. So here user id user info from email email address is equal to one then only we'll send an email to them and next we'll create the random code so i'll create the login otp in database table just right click and go to the design i'm adding one more variable column name otp name and my address now let me select so see login OTP is null now okay. so here we can go login OTP login OTP where email is equal to email and here I will send the OTP sending the login OTP to the user and I am also sending the link so confirm login OTP 
HTTP just call the same page Okay, so this is a confirm login uh, login with OTP page. If you want to pass the variable like reset uh, reset password we did, we can do it from here also. But I'm I want to go for the different way. So all the things are this is uh, this is for the SMTP details and uh, login OTP sent successfully. Login. And successfully your email address is not associated with us let me send the mail with OTP now everything is correct let me put the my email address and So login OTP sent successfully. Come my email address and just open the reset password. Okay, sorry, I forgot to change the name here. Login OTP. Okay, so login OTP. So I'm deleting this one. Let me send it again. See, I got the login OTP. Login my login OTP is seven nine seven one five eight nine zero. Come to the database now. Previous one null. Let me execute. Yeah, I'm getting the same. So now go to the confirm login with OTP page. So let me open that. Uh, or here also I'm giving the. Okay. I forgot to change. Click here to login. When we'll click on the login OTP page, we'll get this page. Now this is blank. Let me create the page. Email address and this one forward OTP. So login OTP. Sorry, login OTP. This is login OTP. Enter your login OTP. Login OTP button. is created now let me get the login code so all the assembly i'm adding sql connection i will provide you all the code in my description here we have a second which login node User info, email is equal to email and login OTP, login OTP, login is OTP is equal to one creating. You can 
message to the user. Now let me refresh the page. Yeah, confirm login OTP. There is email address and there is a password. So I am giving the wrong OTP. So login OTP now name will be the login OTP. address and login OTP selecting that one and using the wrong OTP so your login OTP is incorrect so I'm using the correct OTP the correct OTP we have a mail copy that and provide that one for submit it here I am able to log in see so I am able to see the session variable here means that I am logging go to the home home see i am calling the session whenever i am creating the login so i am creating the session and this variable so i am first name and email i am also also calling to the home page and home page you can able to see the the first name and there is a last name in my session variable means we are logged in so this is working so in this tutorial we will learn about how to how to log in with the otp with the sql server sp.net csr and this video is also related to the previous two videos and for the detailed description detail on this uh, video go to the previous video also that is the login registration activate account and forget password or reset password using the uh, reset password link so hope this video will help thank you for watching